Oh, right, you tubers. Welcome back to War Thunder Ground Forces with the Angry Nerd. And today I thought we would take a look at the Soviet T 44 medium tank. Now, the T 44 was a medium tank first developed and produced near the end of the Second World War by the Soviet Union. It was the successor to the T 34, offering an improved ride and cross country performance and much greater armor. In the autumn of 1943, designers started working on a vehicle under orders from Stalin that was to have major improvements over the initial T-34s. Its mobility was to be similar to the T-34s, but it was to have much more armor. In November, a design and model was presented, and it was designated the T-44 or Object 136. The T-44 had a typical layout, the driving compartment in the front, the fighting compartment in the middle, and the engine compartment in the rear. Compared to the T-34-85, the T-44 had the same road wheels, engine, and turret, but the suspension was replaced with a torsion bar suspension and a simpler hull shape which offered a smaller profile. The first prototype was completed in January 1944 and two more in February. The first two prototypes were armed with the 85mm D5T gun with the designation T4485, while the last one was equipped with a 122mm D2544T cannon similar to the one on the IS-2. An innovative design on the T-44 was the placement of the engine. It was placed perpendicular to the axis of the tank. Mounting the engine sideways allowed the hull length to be reduced, but widened the hull as well. Therefore, the hull was made without sponsons, which gave the crew a much bigger fighting compartment. It also allowed the turret to be placed in the center of the hull, which moved the vehicle's rotational axis and center of mass back, thus making the gun more accurate. With the vehicle's rotational axis further back, the thickness of the front armor could be doubled without disturbing the vehicle's center of mass, which meant that it could be better protected whilst maintaining stability. The armor was 75 millimeters thick on the front plate, 90 millimeters on the turret metla, and 45 millimeters on the side. These prototypes were powered by a diesel engine delivering 500 horsepower. The overall design of the tank provided many advantages over the T-34. The gun accuracy on the T-44 design was arguably better and the turret ring was more reliable. It presented more than double the frontal armor without significantly affecting weight distribution. The increased size of the fighting compartment meant that ammo did not have to be stored under the turret floor as on the T-34. And last but not least, the T-44 also presented a smaller target than the T-34 as it was 300 millimeters lower. Trials of the first prototypes began in February 1944. The results indicated that the T-44 with the 122 millimeter gun was impractical as reload times were too long and it was discontinued, while the T-44 with the 85 millimeter gun went on to further development to repair a few faults that had been discovered. By May, the next batch of prototypes arrived with the recommended improvements. The driver's position was moved slightly back, so the hatch was partly on the roof of the hull, and the vision flap on the hatch was simplified. Two prototypes were made, one with a splashboard on the upper glacis plate, and the other with a smooth plate. One of these passed trials in July 1944. It weighed in at 31.3 tons and was armed with the 85mm cannon. 
It had an effective armor thickness of 115 millimeters on the front, 75 millimeters on the whole sides. These prototypes were improved again and were designated the T-44A. They had their front armor thickness increased to 90 millimeters and front turret armor increased to 120 millimeters, yet had a reduction in weight to 30.7 tons. The vehicle had a new engine that delivered 520 horsepower and could travel at 60.5 kilometers per hour. The driver's hatch was also now entirely moved to the whole top with a vision slot cut in the glacis. The vehicle still retained the 85 millimeter cannon, but by the time the T-44 had been fully tested, the T-34 had been upgunned with the 85 millimeter cannon. And because both tanks offered similar performance and because the war was still ongoing, it was thought that introducing the new T-44 was not as important as increasing T-34 production, which ended up at around 58,000 units. The T-44 finally entered service in November of 1944 after a few more upgrades, which upped the weight to 32 tons. But it did not actually see combat in World War II. Production started in 1944 at factory number 75 and continued until 1947 with about 1,823 units produced. Now in War Thunder Arcade, the T-44 is a rank 4 medium tank with a battle rating of 6.3. It has a 954 horsepower engine propelling the 31.8 ton vehicle to a top speed of 42 miles per hour. It comes equipped with the 85mm ZIS S53 cannon. Now I have it assigned to an expert crew with a crew level of 150 which gives me a reload of 7.9 seconds. With a premium account, it has an XP reward of 368% and a silver line reward of 180%. So what do I think of the T-44 here in War Thunder? Well, it's a good vehicle, but it can have some trouble defeating well-armored vehicles from the front at range. So I have found that sniping front-facing long-range targets was not as productive as I would have liked. However, when I was able to find a flanking position, the long-range sniping worked very well. Now for the armor. Although the T-44's upper front plate is surprisingly bouncy, the turret and turret ring felt very susceptible at this tier and I found that exchanging shots with the likes of the Tiger II did not usually end very well for me. The T-44 is a very maneuverable vehicle, and I think this vehicle is at its best when its maneuverability is utilized, repositioning after initial contact and attacking from another direction. Now before we get to the gameplay, I wanna go ahead and apologize for some glitchiness in the recordings. I'm not exactly sure what was going on, but when I was editing this video, I noticed it and I decided that I wouldn't use that footage. And I went back to get some more footage, hoping that it would be better. Um, it's a little bit better, but not much. So the end result is I'm having glitches in all my recordings. So I'm gonna go ahead and use both. You're gonna get both gameplays. In the first one, we're gonna show off the T-44's maneuverability in advance to the Rhine. And in the second one, we're gonna find a good sniping spot on Tunisia. I hope you will enjoy both videos. That being said, let's get to the gameplay. Here we go. All right, looks like we picked up advance to the Rhine. We're on the southern portion of the map. And since the eastern portion of the map seems to have longer shots, I'm gonna go for the western spawn point and maybe get a little closer um, in shots. Uh, 
the skin was created by Wintendo, but he no longer has a War Thunder Live account. So, sorry if you were wondering. Alright, using my speed to get in position. see a little bit of red through there oh man look at there well, we got a t44 100 here with us let's pull up uh, hit the rubble and mess that shot oh and paid for that I'm all kind of damaged and my drivers out Tracks are up. Oh no. Let me try it. Up. Oh. Well. I fired just before my gun got repaired. So. Didn't do anything. But. Every once in a while you can still fire with your gun. Messed up but it's dangerous. So we are replenishing a crew member. Oh, I wonder if he wants towed. Let's see. I could pull him back out of the way. Let's see if I can get up here and help him. All right. Yep. He went down anyway. And I got tracked. Nice. I was wondering who the heck was hitting me. It was a rocket tank back there. Oh, man. Dang it. Rubble. Drop some party on him. It's getting kind of hot here. Oh, what is that? All right, took that rocket tank out. Uh oh. Dang it! He pulled back before I got reloaded. Oh man. 44 100 undamaged. I'm getting overrun. This is bad. Drop some more arty. Oh, getting hit by him through there. Alright, I'm out. I'm out. Run away! Run away! Oh, he got my engine. Well, he paid for it. Uh oh. Shoot, 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 shoot. This is bad. This is bad. Uh... We might make it. We might make it. All right, we're looking pretty good. A retrograde and take a position right here. All right. Drop some party. Got a Tiger two just beyond that hole, but I can't get a bead on him. Uh, let's try it anyway. Let's see, give me something. Nope. That was a wasted shot. The 26 just went by. Oh, 
what do we get here? I thought I had that T-44, but teammate took him out just before I did. Or just before I could. Oh, FP. Commander Loader. Alright, here we go. Boom. Oh, man. IS-2. Smack me right in the turret cheek. But I bought a backup, so we can take another T-44 out. Now, it looks like they have taken... Uh, control of the A point. We'll see if we can uh, come over here with my teammate and take it back. Um, one, two, three, four, five enemy tanks around. The sixth one coming up around that A point here. So I need to be cautious. Let's see. All right, should have two just on the other side of this building here. Oh, and a third one coming up. Third one coming up. Teammate took out one. All right, we put a hurtin'. On that one, we got rocketed. IS-2 right here. Took out the IS-2. Can we get another shot before this guy rotates? Yep. Oh, deturreted. Okay. Let's make our way over toward the cap. There's a tank destroyer sitting on the other side of the cab. Alright, I'm about to fly over the top of this dude. Oh, he got taken out! Dang it! Oh, Barty. Oh, this is bad. Come on, I need that lower, lower glacis. And I missed it. Uh, I don't have a shot on that. All right. We need to find a better position to repair. Now, park right here in this crater. And I hold, hide my lower glacis a little bit. Sit here and repair. And take out an uh, aircraft. And maybe drop some arty before we go flying. Alright. It was a bombing run. Oh, 163. No getting away from him. So, no. He just chewed me up. All right. Let's see if we can get over here. Well, I was going to come try to help kill this guy, but. They took him out, so we'll work our way back around this way. Uh, come on. 
All right. Right below the tracks. Come on. There we go. All right. I waited to put that fire out till I killed him, or he'd have had me if I had extinguished the fire. Then my crew wouldn't have been able to fight back, and uh, he'd have finished me off. We're about to get the engine back up. All right. We got two vehicles coming down this way. Oh, it's a tiger. Swing around and get him. Oh crap. Oh no. Oh, he tracked me. All right, critical hit on the tiger. I don't know how he didn't kill me, but there we go. Maybe his gun barrel was damaged or something, I don't know. But he had me dead to rights. All right, we're back up and running. That tortoise has retrograded. I'm gonna see if I can get back here. And uh, violate him from the rear. Here we go. Oh, and he barely even felt that. Like it wasn't even there. He's backing up. All right. We're reloaded. There we go. Back in the crew compartment. That's where I should hit him. how we did. Looks pretty good. And a battle trophy. Yay! 15,000 silver lions. Okay. First strike. Adamant. Double strike. One shot. Teamwork. Tank rescuer. Avenger. Professional. Final blow. Mission maker. The best squad. Heavy metal fury. Not bad. First place in the team. XP and credits. Premium account bonus. 11 vehicles destroyed. 94% battle activity. Okay. Decent game. Did die one time. But, uh, I don't get many survivor matches in the T-44, so, yeah. All right, looks like we picked up Tunisia. We're on the northern side of the map. And there's only the one cap point. So, this might work out pretty well. Most of the people are going to be heading toward that A point. I am not. I'm going somewhere around uh, C2, maybe. Use the speed of the T44 to get in position um, fairly quickly. Got a low hanging sun, making it look a little darker than normal. I think this is my turn right here. And got a couple little bushes here I want to knock down. The nice one. That thing is deadly. Alright, get the bushes out of my way. Let's see if we can hit that. I 
that thing's got a good gun. I'm glad to get that off. What are we at? All right, T-34. Oh, man. That was a gimme, too. He was a side on here. Nope. Twenty-five missed him. Ooh. Okay. Shot at me. There you go. Let's play catch. Is two. There's a tiger two over there. If I can get his side or his turret face. I don't know that I can get either one of those. It's got a good position behind the rocks. So we're going in an air battle. Maybe I can get some guys that way. All right, we got a Tempest coming in on us. Nine bombs. Should just run straight down here, but I don't like that tank in the river. So I'm gonna drop a couple on him. Now, let's see if we can line back up on these guys. Just drop them all. There we go. Okay, two targets destroyed. So we got a PT-76, a Panther, and a Tiger 2H. Nice. Um, hit that tank, but didn't do any damage. M41A1, that's the Walker Bulldog. That Bulldog is very thin skinned. Let's see. Oh. Oh, he's back. Oh, he's moving. Wait for it. Wait for it. There you go. He doesn't have the armor to stop that. E25. Nope. Rejected. T44, 122. Oh. Well, let's see. There we go. He was side on that time. It's a T28 right there. This is not going to do anything, but I just feel obligated to shoot at him. Drops of already. So we can kill him that way. T44 again. Nope. Not seeing it. Jag Panther up there. Just nicked him. Started a fire. All right. Oh, that worked out well. Drop some more arty. Really want to kill that T twenty eight. I know I'm not going to do it with my gun. Miss that. 
What do we got here? T44, 122 again. Oh, Tiger. T28. Uh, hit the Tiger, but didn't do anything to it. We're reloading. Here he goes. And pow! That was lucky. Drop the party on the T28 again. What is that? Nashorn. Missed him. Nest one again. Aha! Got him. Engine. Let's move a little bit further to the back and see if we can get the ammo. There we go. There we go. That's the money shot. Drop the Artie on the T28 again. Is, it's having absolutely no effect. It's not bothering him at all. Oh, 144. Missed him. Or T44, 122 is what it is. He is again. And. No. No way. Ooh! He was climbing up on something and he's stuck. I bet he doesn't have the gun uh, depression to hit me, so. It's a freebie. There we go. Um, nothing to drop Wardy on. Oh, I'm gonna back up just in case there were more bombs than what I see there. And I'm going to take out my own air battle. We only have just a second left. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to get in the air. Oh, Farker Wolf 190 and Yak 3. And I think that's it. Yep. That was it. Stick a fork in it. It's done. Not too bad. Ooh, look at there. That's lots of stuff. It's like Christmas. Let's take a look. Okay, we picked up Forest Camouflage. First Strike. Avenger. Double Strike. Rank does not matter. Triple strike. Triple strike. One shot. Tank rescuer. Professional. Shadow strike streak. Supporting fire. Survivor. Heavy metal hero. And the best squad. Wow. Not bad. Second place in the team. XP and credits, premium bonus, 12 targets destroyed, 95% battle activity, that dude also did the guy in first place, he did good. 10 kills with zero deaths and got a cap point so he did good let's send him a message great game dude there you go good job guy all right back to the hangar so the T-44, as I had stated earlier, um, if you can get a good sniping position and you're getting flank shots, this can be a really good vehicle for that. 
Um, you can use your speed to get around to the sides, find you a good position. Um, but if you're getting engaged, just don't sit there and take a back and forth because your turret cannot take it. Uh, the upper front, front plate is fairly bouncy. Lower front, front plate, not so much. Um, but yeah, if all of those vehicles would have been facing straight on, I would have probably repositioned, but they weren't really bothering me. Um, man, it was just like a freebie there. So anyway, hope it wasn't too boring for you. If you like this look at the T44, hit that like button. If you didn't, don't subscribe if you would. But as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Nerd out.